it shall see from Paper Rock Tio Studio. And it is time for my February vlog. And so it is February 1st. Happy February, everyone. This is always a busy month for me because most of my family has their birthday <laughs> during this month. And so, and then of course there's Valentine's Day, which is a holiday that I love. But I wanted to tell you the few things that I know that are going to be going on in February. And the first thing I'm excited about telling you is the thank yous for January. So let's get started with that first. I want to say thank you to Marion, Gail, Marty, Vinalda, Deborah, Arlene, Linda, Yuvalon, Yulavon, <laughs> sorry, and uh, the other Deborah for donating to my channel this month. That's always very helpful. There is a, a link to my PayPal down below the video and you can click on that and uh, donate to my channel. It always helps me get some new stuff to play with, like this new color that I'm playing with today, which um, I just purchased when they were on sale at uh, Jerry's Artorama. I, I bought a few new colors of paint and I've been, um, well, I was working with them on the gel plate on Thursday. As you guys have probably noticed on my channel, I haven't been doing anything and I decided to challenge myself this, this starting this month, but, but going on for over three months, there is this thing called the hundred days project. You can go to hunderddaysproject.org and join it. There is a newsletter and there's a group on Facebook that you can join. Uh, mostly I just, I need something to get me into my studio and I've been struggling with that all year and it hasn't stopped in the new year. Um, still having a hard time. So I decided to go ahead and challenge myself to this hundred days project. And what I decided to do is do small mixed media collage. You know, I love collage, you know, I love mixed media, I like to mix stuff up. And so I have these, that, this stack of different size of small canvases and canvas boards. And I decided to use those. I don't have a hundred of them, so I'll have to buy some more. And I can just go to Amazon and buy them in 24 packs. And they, they probably won't be any more than five by seven inches. And some of them are going to be very, very small, like two inches by two inches, just because those are the canvases that I have. And I'm going to be doing different, different techniques, different styles. I mean, there's 100 days of doing something every single day. So there's going to be a lot of variety. There will not, however, be a video every day. I can barely get through a month-long challenge of doing a video every day. <laughs> and I about die after that. So the idea of doing it for over three months is just crazy. I just, I wouldn't possibly be able to do that. So, so don't get too excited, but there will be videos of these projects that I'm doing. I'll be taking video of the ones that I feel like taking video of, and I'll be posting pictures every day on my Instagram, which is at Paper Octio Studio. You can click there on the corner of the video screen to go to my Instagram if you haven't subscribed to me on my Instagram yet or I guess that's called following <laughs> if you haven't followed me on Instagram and you want to see all hundred days of it. So that's what I'm doing on the screen today because I know that you don't just want to listen to me talk. Um, so I am working on my day one project here and what I decided to do I had two of these five by seven canvases which are a wrapped canvas and I think I'm going to make them abstract and similar. And I wanted to play with this color, which is called Prussian blue. And I just wondered, I mean, I think it's a really nice color. And I just wondered if I like it better than Payne's gray, because Payne's gray is kind of similar, but more, uh, more dull color and a little bit darker. And I wondered if I mixed it with white gesso, what color would I get? What what are really the properties of the color? And this is a good way to approach a project. You can just, you know, pick a color and then you can look at your color wheel and see if there's a complementary color. You, if you have in your head some kind of color scheme that you want to do, that's a good way to start. So that's the way I started today. That's not the way I'm going to start every one of these. They're all going to be different, but, um, but some will be similar, you know. I mean, I, I actually want to make these two five by sevens in similar colors and theme so that they can go together as a pair. So tomorrow I'll probably do one similar to this. So I probably won't film it, but I will post a picture of it. But 
I'm actually already one day behind. I was supposed to start on the 31st and today's the first and I thought it started on the first, but it didn't. So I've got a little bit of catch up to do anyway. <laughs> See, I'm not, I'm already failing and I had just started. But as I'm looking at my calendar here for February and what's going to be going on in February, basically I don't have anything written down except for the usual stuff. Like um, we have the live stream going on every Thursday uh, over on the Art Joy Sharing live stream show. And I may do some of these 100 days on there. I don't know. Uh, we also have, of course, the Pick a Stick Challenge and the Mood Board going on in Art Joy of Sharing, our art community on Facebook. So, um, you know, there'll be other, maybe I'll do one of my 100 day projects using the, the Pick a Stick. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But other than that, written on my calendar, I have a, um, a interview with one of our Art Joy of Sharing artists tomorrow on the live stream. That's Debbie Cork. We're going to be um, talking to her on the live stream tomorrow, Tuesday the 2nd. And then I do have our um, video hop that I'm going to be participating in all year coming up on Friday the 5th at 9 a.m. That's the hashtag let us start with art video hop, which the, the requirements of that are to make something that you hang on the wall. So I've got a, a piece already done for that. And I am going to be making some Valentine projects. I did join a swap for Valentine's in the pick stick and the mood board. And really, that's all I think I even have. I don't have a big agenda. I've got some things that I need to do that are secret. <laughs> so I won't be telling you those. But, and you know, until they come out, come up. But yeah, that's all I've got. Oh, I am going to do a paper doll this month. That's right. I do have a paper doll to do because I joined uh, in the group that I'm in for paper art dolls. I joined a swap. So those are the things I'm going to be doing in February. If you would like to help my channel, you can always donate like those people that I thanked earlier. You can um, use my links to my Amazon store or my Arteza store. Those are affiliate links. They don't cost you anything, but I do get a, a few cents or a cent <laughs> or just a very small amount for uh, getting you to their site. So if you use my links, that always helps me out. Um, also, clicking on my, my like button on my channel, subscribing to my channel, um, sharing my project videos with other people, pinning me on Pinterest, all those type of things help my channel. So I'm always appreciative when you do those things. Um, as far as the piece, I really am enjoying that color. I, I used the Prussian Blue Amsterdam Extra, Expert paint, but I also got out a DecoArt Media Fluid paint, which is also Prussian Blue, and it actually seems a little bit darker. So you can get two different brands of paint with the same color and they may not be exactly the same. And that's cool. That's of course cool. I also uh, added in a little bit of teal or turquoise. I used some acrylic ink to make some drips and marks um, after I had painted the background with the acrylic paint and brushes. And now I'm doing some collage because there's really just, there's not much anything at all, whether it's art journaling, whether it's wall art, whether it's uh, a card, um, anything that I make, a tag, an ATC, there's pretty much not a project these days that doesn't have at least some collage on it. I just can't stop. I love, love, love all these little bits of paper that have pattern and color, and I love to glue them onto stuff. It's just, it is my joy. It is the thing that I enjoy the very most as far as art goes. So of course, every one of my, my little pieces always has collage. And I went through uh, the, the stuff that I made on the live stream and on the channel the other day and picked a few of those pieces, plus just a bunch of other little pieces. I was really interested in that bright pink. I think the Prussian blue and the really bright or fluorescent pink go together really well. And I had picked the acrylic ink um, that was in that bright pink. So I've got Prussian blue, I've got fluorescent pink, and I've got teal, um, a teal color of ink, and then the white. And that's the colors that I, 
I used for this project and will use for the other 5 by 7 so that they can match each other and hang together because I think a 5 by 7 is pretty small for wall art for something that you hang on the wall. I think it will have more impact if I use two of them together or even three, but I only have two. <laughs> so I won't be able to use three. Um, I just, I don't know. I also have these little pieces of, the other day I was, I was messing around with Sumi ink, which is a Japanese ink and some Sumi brushes on my gel plate. And at the end of the day, I tore all the excess edges off of the rice paper, like, you know, the white edges, if I didn't print them. And I ended up doing mark making with the leftover ink that I had in my little cup and a brush and um, one of those Sumi brushes and just making some some marks on the the rice paper, which I think are just going to be super for collage. So I used a few of those as well as, well, I think I just used one piece that had just some like hash marks on it. It's just right there where I was just touching it uh, to blend in some of the edges where I felt that the collage had too harsh of an edge. I'm using that Prussian blue on my finger and just like kind of going around and and touching up those edges that I think need to be blended in. I've also got a, a baby wipe that I'm kind of using here and there to pull back if my finger is too fat and it gets too much paint on, <laughs> on my papers. Um, I, I pull it back with that baby wipe, very dirty baby wipe at this point, because I do want some of that white to show. So I decided to get out a little bit of white paint, uh, titanium white. You remember titanium white is a opaque color. So you can paint over, I could paint over the whole top of this thing and it would, you know, completely ob obliterate it with white. So I wanted to bring back some bright white to my uh, abstract piece. So I'm finger painting a little bit with that as well. And then touching up uh, this, this one, yeah, very bad abstract. It means nothing um, as far as, ha as far as having a visual, oh, you look at that and you say, that's a dog. No, it's not, it's not one of those type of pieces. It's something that's just fun to play with color and pattern. And um, for some reason, I wanted to play with these little kind of rectangular, but not, you know, curved. I don't know what that kind of mark would be called. It's just a rectangle that uh, has a curved border. So like if you cut a rectangle with paper and then put uh, a corner rounder to all the edges, I guess it's kind of like that, but not as not as clear as that. And those those image those uh, shapes were just fascinating me today. That's how it goes. You know, what do you what do you like today? What are you going to like tomorrow? It might not be the same thing. Um, the only the only constant that I have seems to be that I want to glue paper to stuff. <laughs> Always, no matter what kind of project it is, I want to glue paper to it. I also want to gel print and make more paper so that I can glue it to stuff. That's just, it just fascinates me and attracts me. And I don't know why. Everyone has a different thing that they, they want to get into. So my final touch was to use a white. First I used a pink and then I used a white Posca pen, which is an acrylic paint pen, to kind of draw around some of the shapes and bring them out and add some splatters and add some dots and just things like that. I wanted those uh, pink things to look like drips, and they were originally drips when I was dripping the acrylic paint, I think, but I mean the acrylic ink, but I wanted them to be drippier. So I hope everyone is having a great February. I hope that you all will celebrate love this month, whether it doesn't have to be romantic love, whether it's the love of your friends, the love of your family, the love of your country. Um, I'm still going with that theme for <laughs> this year. I'm really trying to feel the love of everything when we're having so many negative things going on in the world. So stay happy, stay safe. Think about uh, who and what you love, and that includes art. And hey, join me with the 100 Day Project if you want to. I know some of you are already doing it. So that's it for me for my vlog. Here are the close-ups of day one's project, and I will see you somewhere tomorrow. Bye.